hello guys welcome to my channel if you're new to here please do not forget to subscribe here we are on the second part of the video making the sauce for the fish ball so do not forget to watch the first part how to make fish ball Please ensure when you are frying your fish balls, um, uh, it's on medium high heat. And fry the balls for three to four minutes. Drain on a paper towel. So this helps to you know, extract any excess or remaining oil from the uh, fish balls. And you, if you intend to eat it with uh, dipping sauce, go ahead. But this video purpose is to start the process of the sauce. Uh, so here we are. I'm um, adding my um, tomato plums, uh, chopping my onions. Add one scotch bonnet, depends on how hot you want your sauce. Blender, garlic, uh, ginger. So just be careful, so be safe. So we use the knife, or oh, just use a chopping board, that's what I can say. Do not forget to subscribe, share and like. Please help me build this channel. Once you have the consistency that you desire, uh, put aside and next uh, I'll be blending my uh, Romana peppers uh, uh, bell pepper technically uh, I'm using bell pepper for Romana pepper beautiful it works uh, similarly so next uh, we would blend this thing to until it becomes a paste bell pepper water retention is very high so i drain the liquid and put it aside so i don't have to fry for long so at this point i'm just uh, stirring uh, what i'm seeking from this point is for the onions or the the pepper water to to dry, uh, dry. Uh, so once the water is dehydrated then um, i add my blended onions so this would reduce the frying time the less water you have in the oil the, it will minimize the, the the time so i add my tomato paste bay leaves Next, I add my one cube maggi. You can, you know, choose a salt um, as an alternative. Black pepper. I'd have a teaspoon of black pepper. Um, add in uh, mixed herbs. Thyme. I add that if you measure it, that would be half a teaspoon. Paprika. All purpose seasoning. Now, so once the onions are translucent, um, then that means that it's time for you to add water depending on how thick you want your sauce so next you add the meatballs in the sauce and leave it to cook for roughly three to four minutes you want the meatballs to absorb all the sauce so it becomes succulent and juicy we don't want it dry at this stage once this is done then you can serve it serve it with um, 
uh, pasta, rice, anything of your preference. Thanks for watching.